Chillin' fans, Tamashi here, and today I'm here with my good friend Emil, also known as Chugga Conroy. And today we're gonna be doing a challenge video. I don't often have the opportunity to record these with people other than Chaz, so I figured why not? And Scandalous. Yeah. <laughs> I asked you guys what you wanted to see us do today, and you suggested that we do the Bean Boozled Challenge and ask each other Pokemon trivia questions, and whoever answers wrong has to eat one of these dreaded, awful jelly beans. There are many jelly beans that look identical, where there's a good variety and a bad variety. You might get toffee, but you might also get dung. I don't know. Yeah, there's a, a few different flavors yeah. on there, but... Like lawn clippings or lime or toothpaste and berry. Yeah, that's a... Uh... I'm not looking forward to this. Yep. I'm actually super squeamish about things involving like saliva and mouths and stuff, so I swore I would never do a food related challenge, but the things I do for you. I know, she loves you guys so much. So I found a few Pokemon trivia questions online that are hard enough that we won't necessarily know the answers, and uh, I found the correct answers too, so we have an answer key. And we're gonna take turns asking each other questions and hope that neither of us answers wrong. Okay. You ready? Ready. Who's going first? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Okay. You got an easy one. Yeah. Well, easy. This ability is shared uh, as the most shared of all legendary Pokemon. Immunity, Serene Grace, Pressure, or Hustle? Pressure. Pressure. Phew. Okay. So, for you. Here we go. What religion does the concept of Pokemon black and white come from? Buddhism? Taoism or Taoism? Taoism. Hinduism or Jainism? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of the last one, sorry. I, I, I sincerely hope it's not like made up or something. I feel yeah. awful if I felt that. Um, okay, well I know it's truth versus ideals. Uh -huh. Truth and ideals. I'm gonna say Hinduism? Hinduism. And the answer is Taoism. Da oh, here we go. Alright, if I lift it up. Put it back down, and then a bean magically, or three. So pick whichever one, I guess. Okay, I trust you. I'm so scared for you right now. Thank you. Yeah, you're <laughs> such a good friend. Such a good friend. How is it? What is it? It tastes kind of like pizza. Huh. Let me see. Oh, it's supposed to be barf. But what's the other option? Peach. Oh, so it's not peach. So you ate the barf one and it's not that bad. I thought it was pizza. Huh. That's kind of gross, but okay. First Pokemon to have a debut appearance when it was not in its original home region. Ho-Oh, Togepi, Lugia, Meryl. I feel like I'm getting disproportionately easy questions because Ho-Oh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, it totally is. Yeah. Number four. What is the reason that they banned the episode Legend of Dratini? For showing a gun? For too much explosions? For sexual dialogue or for cross-dressing? Guns. And the answer is... Not on this list, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's guns! Put these Pokemon games in sequence of a release date in, Je in Japan, starting with the earliest. Red, yellow, green, blue. Okay. It's red, green, blue, yellow. Yes. I feel like I'm dodging the bullet so hard right now. This is one I don't know the answer to, so... Okay. Okay. The only legendary Pokemon Jesse's Wobbuffet got to battle. Mewtwo, Articuno, Zapdos, or Entei? I kind of want to say Entei, but I don't remember a scene in the third movie where Jesse's Wobbuffet got to battle it, so I'm going to say Mewtwo, Mastermind of Mirage Pokemon. Let's see... The correct answer was Articuno? Arti oh, maybe Nolan's Articuno. It could be the... like the... Articuno from the Training Days episode. There, there was Johto as well. Oh, she well. wouldn't have had Wobbuffet in that one. There was an Articuno that was found in Johto when they reunited with Todd Snap. Oh. So there was that too. Alright, well, I have eaten another bean! Uh, I'll take... Uh, they're stuck. Okay, I guess this one. It's brown, which really worries me. It's so suspicious. <laughs> it's kind of the worst color for it to be. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> Chocolate pudding. Oh, thank God. <laughs> because the alternative is so much worse. Canned dog food was the alternative. Oh, okay. That's not what I was thinking. I've eaten that before. Canned dog food? Yeah. I've tried cat food, but I don't really like it. It's like that episode of Spongebob where he's like, you know, I've been feeding Gary this stuff for years and never found out what it tastes like. <laughs> and then the meeting at like the cat food restaurants just, or cat food places is just like, I sense a disturbance. <laughs> oh, man. 
Which of these Pokemon can be captured at the wild with the highest level without glitches? Arceus, Pidgey, Mewtwo, or Magikarp? I'm trying to think what level Mewtwo is next and why. I don't know what level Arceus is. Or where you'd battle an Arceus. So I'm gonna go with Mewtwo. The answer is Magikarp. In Pokemon Platinum, you can encounter a level 100 Magikarp. Oh, right. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you're talking to the Platinum player here. Oh, that's right. Oh, of course, it's the one game that I... This is what I get for not playing Gen 4. Yeah, so, so... All those people that loved Gen 4 and got mad at you over the years, they're getting their revenge on you now. This is my punishment. I'm going to go with this suspicious green one, which I think can either be grass or... Lime. Lime. You might get rewarded for not playing 4th Gen. I ha well, that's true. Go ahead. So, let's see if I get revenge or not. It's sweet so far. I think it's lime. <laughs> there we go. When not playing fourth gen can mean good things. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay. My question. How many Pokemon are weaker than Magikarp if based on their base stats? Two, four, seven, or none? I'm gonna I know for a fact that there's at least one because Sunkern. So I'm gonna say two. And the answer is. Seven. Seven. Wow. Seven. That was. I knew that some existed. I didn't think it was quite that many. Yeah, I want to say some of the baby Pokemon, maybe. Maybe. Because I know Unknown is lower. Unknown is lower. Unknown has like 72 attack and 72 special attack, though. I didn't think it would be lower. It's one of the lowest base stat totals. It's, it's got like 40s for everything else, though, but I figured Unknown wouldn't be lower because it's got two 72s. We could look it up. Now I'm just curious if Unknown is lower than Magikarp. Whose turn is it? It's uh, mine to answer a question. Uh, I... Oh, you need to eat a jelly bean. I, I, Darn, I almost got away with it. No, um, I'm just kidding. Alright, lift and push down, and all three of them are stuck, so I'm gonna try again. And all three of them are stuck again, so I'm gonna try a third time. And four of them are stuck. I'll just take this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I recognize this color. This can be buttered popcorn, which is actually my favorite Jelly Belly. Yeah, mine too. Or one of them. I really like that one, though. Please. Rotten egg! Ugh. You got punished for that one for sure. Who is the only recurring Pokemon in the anime to evolve as in recurring character? Mm -hmm. Jigglypuff, Sandile, Clampearl, or Spoink? I only know Jigglypuff is a recurring character. I have no idea where the others appear. I want to say Jigglypuff does not evolve because I remember the episode where it meets a little girl and it stops following them. But I don't know about any of the others, so I'm gonna say Spoink. Sandile. It's Sandile. Uh -huh. When not watching the black and white anime can cost you your taste buds. <sighs> Go for it. See, this is my punishment for not actually being a good uh, Pokemon. To be fair, I've heard the black and white anime is not very good, <laughs> but hey. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I don't wanna eat it. Oh, it's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's multi cheese. <laughs> Ew. I don't know. I don't think that would be so bad. No, I don't even know what it is. It was like... It has to be multi cheese from how it looked, but it's like... It tastes like grass. <laughs> what is the original name for Pokemon? Here's an easy one for you. Capomon, Capsule Monsters, Sealed Monsters, or Pika. I love sealed monsters, but no, it's capsule monsters. Yeah. Okay. That's what I get for having all the easy ones in the beginning. To be fair, you were the one who taught me that through your videos. Really? So, yeah, when watching Tamashi Hiroka can save you from eating, but I keep saying that. Anyway, <laughs> um, if Dialga has power over time and pa Palkia has power over space, what power does Giratina have? Power over gravity, power over antimatter, power over relativity, power over velocity. I want to say gravity because of the distortion world. That is Max scroll backwards. Antimatter. No. It's from an alternate dimension. Ugh. Another platinum relevant question. Right. I'm gonna fail all the platinum ones. <laughs> all right. This one. All right. Maybe this will be the revenge. Oh, 
Oh, it's rotten egg. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. It's so bad. <laughs> Girl. Okay, there you go. There Revenge you go. for me hating Gen 4. <laughs> okay, okay. You go, you go. Okay. Who programmed Mew into the game? Shigeki Morimoto, Ken Sugimori, Junichi Masuda, or Shigeru Miyamoto? I'm gonna go with A, Morimoto. Shigeki Morimoto? Yes. And the answer is... Not on here. But I think it's Morimoto. <laughs> yeah, because I know it wasn't Masuda, I know it wasn't Miyamoto, because Miyamoto was, was just the producer. It was in an Iwata Asks with Shigeki Morimoto. Yes. So, that has to be it. This is kind of a subjective question, I think, because I'm not really sure if this one's good. This one is, true or false, Alamomola was first thought to be an evolution of Love Disc. It was first thought to be by fans, yes. I feel like that's kind of subjective, though, because... I mean, you can't speak for everyone. No. But that was what the rumor was, I believe. Yeah. I'll say that you're right, but I'm not really sure that's a good question. Yeah, I'm going to check what the answer key says, because that's... I mean, whether it's right or wrong, it's what the answer key says. It's not on here. <laughs> should we go, should we have you do the next question? Yeah, that one was kind of like a... Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh oh. I think you should have stuck with the Alamola. Uh oh. How many Pokemon names are palindromes? Seven, three, five, or four? Alamola, Giraffarig. I wanna go with Three, because I can't I can't even remember what the third one would be, but I know there's at least two. So three. Four. Urgh. I don't know who it is. Yeah, but... it's not even listed on the answer key, so. No, nah, it just says the number. Alright, lift and drop. Mm, I'm gonna go with this dark one against my better judgment. A black licorice is what it could potentially be, I think. I don't even like licorice, so this is bad for me either. Let, way. let me at least look. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Is it coffee? The black one can only be black licorice or skunk spray. So in my book, that's a lose-lose. Oh. <laughs> I think it's skunk. Ugh. It actually does make your breath stink after you have that particular one as we are. I'm just gonna swallow it. Stop chewing. A number of Pokemon listed in the Pokerap. 151, 150, 152, or 147. It's 150 because Mew's not in it, and I know that no Pokemon were skipped. There was the mistake of Poliwrath and Poliwag being transposed, but... You got that correct. Yes. The correct answer is 150. What is the Japanese name of Game Freak? Takenori Ota, Setagaya, Kabushiki Gaisha, or Retained? That's weird. That's a very weird phrasing. Um, Retained in, like, parentheses, so... Well, I know when Masuda tweets about Game Freak in Japanese, he just says Game Freak. So I would have thought it would be Game Freak, unless they're asking about something else. But... I'm gonna go with the third option, because Gaisha. Gaisha. Correct? I was right! Okay! My Japanese saved me. That was worth two years. <laughs> Alright, we survived! Hooray! Do you, do you actually want the rest of these? No. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope you had fun. Thank you for having me. I, it's an experience I will not soon forget. Right. <laughs> I, I wonder if I should put fun in air quotes, but... Thanks for watching. If you want to see my last video, which was on rocket shipping, you can click down there. Or if you want to see my video from before that, which was about my thoughts on cheating, you can click down there. What do you want to say? I didn't get the pun rocket shipping. <laughs> I never got that. Wow. You should subscribe to Chevy Conroy because he makes Pokemon videos. I always wanted to be an annotation. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.